Aloha Marine Corps Base Hawaii. It's another edition of the Hawaii Marine. From yours truly, Lance Copel Stacy. July was a very eventful month for Marine Corps Base Hawaii, so let's get to it. This month, the 28th iteration of Rim of the Pacific continued around Oahu. 26 of our ally and partner nations have been working together and MCBH supported important training throughout the exercise through the use of our ranges, beaches, and our air station. Here's our base commander, Colonel Sparrows Kumparakis, to explain more. Over the last month, the base has been a flurry of activity with uh, Rim of the Pacific going on. What I'm most excited about is just how flexible the base staff has been. This exercise, Rim of the Pacific, has shown that a base is a key enabler to ensure that we can do expeditionary operations into maritime campaigns. Personal thanks to all of Marine Corps Base Hawaii for making sure that uh, we do things safe, we do them right, and we do them uh, with our partners and allies very, very well. Next, Hospital Corpsman 2nd Class Edward Cochran received the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal for his life-saving actions on January 12, 2022. During his morning drive aboard MCBH, HM2 Cochran saw a group of Marines surrounding an unconscious service member on the side of the road. Cochran, with the help of another service member, gave chest compressions and assisted with providing rescue breaths until the base Federal Fire Department arrived, ultimately saving the life of a Navy chief. Bravo Zulu, HM2 Cochran. Then, Marine Corps Base Hawaii hosted the John D. Capco Canoe Regatta in conjunction with the Hui Nalu Canoe Club. Here's what the Hui Nalu Canoe Club president had to say about the event. I would just like to say thank you to the Marine Base. All of the work that the base and the clubs did to make this happen is just, it's an awesome thing and it's an awesome day. Thanks to everyone who supported or participated in the regatta. Next up, two Marines with Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadron 3, Captain Shane Gentry and Staff Sergeant Cody Bellamy were awarded Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medals with the Remote Operations Device for their recent accomplishments as MQ-9 Alpha Reaper operators. From their citations, their eagerness to master their positions and platforms enabled them to be part of the first Marine Corps MQ-9 Alpha aircrew to operate within the first island chain. From Syracuse, New York, Captain Gentry and Staff Sergeant Bellamy were able to land and launch a U.S. Air Force MQ-9 Alpha aboard Marine Corps Air Station Kainoe Bay in support of Marine Corps modernization initiatives. Congratulations, gents. Finally, with the Kainoe Bay Air Show coming up in just two weeks, here are some key tips to help make the air show a smooth event for you and your Ohana. For starters, if you are a DOD card holder with base access, we encourage you to attend the air show's full dress rehearsal on August 12th. Second, we'd ask that all attendees carpool as much as possible or use public transportation, as parking across the Makapu Peninsula is limited. Once you arrive on base, follow the posted signs and directions from road guards while making your way to parking. Lastly, on August 13th and 14th, the front gate will be open to the public at 10 a.m., so make sure to come early. Please keep in mind that the back gate will be closed to airshow traffic over the weekend. For more information on the airshow and transportation options, please visit kbayairshow.com. Stay updated on our MCBH Bulletin page and stay classy. Mahalo.